Yoga back here. Oh my god, it's been a while since I recorded a video like this. And today I'm recording because we are going to Ginzan Onsen, which is a very famous onsen around Tohoku and I would say in Japan. And you might have heard about it because the Spirited Away's animus creator was inspired there, they say. So let's see what inspired him. Come along with me. And before we go, let me just show you my ways of sleeping or being or doing something naughty and now he's resting because he kept me awake all night I mean from like 5 or 4 so yeah hi guys yeah so let's go to Ginza Nonsen see you there guys it's so mind-blowing to just travel one hour away from Sendai and you have this much snow we are just so glad that Yamagata is right next to us So this place had deep fried manju, age manju, and we had to go in and try it. We got two, one, one each, and it was so amazing, guys. So we got to Ginzan Onsen. It's very pretty, and it's amazing feeling to be here, guys. Look at the river behind me, and we got this. Is this manju? It's a fried manju. What's the Japanese name? This is age manju. Itadakimasu. Mm. Mm. So good. And of course, filled with adjuket base. So good. Not so sweet. Mm. try the fried one first and we have a raw one which is warm I don't know if the fried one is warm yeah it's warm mm. Mm. so good so good So Ginzan Onsen means Silver Mountain Hot Spring. This place is a secluded hot spring town nestled in the mountains of Yamagata. This area originally developed around a silver mine which was built 500 years ago. Isn't it crazy? However, these days it is better known as one of Japan's most prettiest onsen towns with historic hotels lined up along the river. The town center of Ginsan Onsen is a pedestrian only zone due to the narrow streets and lack of parking. But personally, I don't mind not having to walk between cars. And it's particularly nice in the evenings because the streets and the bridges are illuminated by guest lights. Unfortunately, we couldn't stay for the night, but we are planning to travel back anytime soon. Before we travel somewhere, we always check out the recommended places to eat and this shop was one of them and it's famous for its curry bread and you will see why. So guys, we bought the infamous curry bread. Let's try this one. It smells so good. Mm. So fluffy. Mm. Yamagata's famous food is soba and my husband's request was to eat soba so I did not go against it. So we got our tempura and soba and 
I already tried the tempura, which is amazing. Now I'm gonna try this soba, and my husband told me it's very chewy and thick. So you got your soba, and you dip it in this dipping sauce. already tell how chewy this is I and I love cold soba guys so this one is maybe one of the best of my life thank you so much for watching this video and for those who watched my previous videos and commented or liked those videos thank you so much it means a lot to me and I cannot wait to create new videos for you in the future until then see you bye